Hey, good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be trading the RV strategy. We're here with a group of uh, friends and people uh, trading with me on Zoom. Uh, please read this disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor. These are just for entertainment purposes only, these demonstration videos, trying to show you some tips and tricks uh, and some different strategies that can be used, and we'll go over those. Uh, this is going to be the RV strategy, so please read this and get the advice of a financial advisor before you try to emulate any of this trading style. Today, we are just doing 25 shares again for the group that just made enough money to be able to do this on margin. So this is what we're doing for um, share size. I mean, you could go, obviously people can go higher, but this is what they felt the risk, re, you know, what they felt safe with with their risk reward was uh, for 25 shares based on the channel sizes. So um, I'll go into what this is. This is a range bound strategy called the RV strategy. There is a book called Day Trading Volume 1 is the bestseller. I'll have a link to it here that says exactly how to trade this uh, strategy, which uh, uh, AI says is one of the top five strategies to trade. It's pretty easy for beginner traders, although it looks complicated when you look at this layout and stuff. But I'll go over this layout. And there are ways you can get this exact layout as well as all these custom scripts and everything that's here. But basically, you're trading a, a range bound strategy, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a range bound strategy that you have to find a range in first, and then you're trying to take a large cap stock that's consolidating and moving sideways. Now, we're trading NVIDIA, so it's a little bit out of the ATR, which is the average true range over a 14-day period, meaning how far the stock will move in one day. So typically, you want to try try to find a stock that's moving between 5 and $7 in an entire day. Then you have the safety of knowing within that channel, within that range across, as the stock goes up and down, that you pretty much know, you know, not you can't be sure, but you know, whether it's going to move beyond that five or seven dollars so that helps you decide on your chair size it also helps you decide on where are you in that range in that channel so you can kind of decide should i stay long should i go short should i get out so it's sort of a um a safer way to trade and you can make some pretty good money doing it so how do we find that range so you go to a day chart I had one minimized down there. You look at the close of yesterday, which was $878.34. Um, the video has kind of been on a tear for the last few months. And then you would look at the average true range, which is right down here. So watch that number, average true range, when I get over the candlestick again. So that's going to tell us that our range was $39.18, almost $40 in a day. So it's not a typical RV stock, but everybody here wanted to trade it. It's hard not to find anybody. You know, Everybody wants to trade NVIDIA right now if you're a scalper because the possibilities are so vast. So you just have to keep your share size tight and be careful. So we're just doing 25 shares, and then we're going to talk about these channels, this big spaghetti mess you see here. But what you do is you take that ATR of $39.18, you divide it in half, and then you subtract half from the close, which is right here. Uh, and you get the you divide it in half and then subtract half of it get the ATR low and add half of it to get the ATR high. It doesn't look like it's even, but it should be even. And that's going to equal your total amount, I think 897 down to 60. Yeah, so that's going to total. It's going to equal your total amount amount of the whole channel size, which was 39. That's the whole channel. So that's how we start. And then we want to have other areas in here that help us trade, to tell us when to turn around, when there might be some, you know, some telltale signs that says this has moved a different direction in this channel. So we're looking for patterns. That's called technical analysis. So we're looking to analyze. So the first way the RV strategy explains to do it, and it's step by step in that book, Day Trading Volume 1 is you go to a four-hour chart and you look for all the bodies and wicks of a four-hour chart that are within the channel. Now, right now, I mark some in the channels here, and then I went way above because it's already broken outside of that ATR. So it's already outside of it. So technically, for several reasons, this would not be would not qualify as an RV stock. The first reason is because it's a higher ATR. The second reason is it's a 
broken through the ATR. So it's gone into what they call an escalator strategy, which we also teach here, or a trend, a type of trend strategy. So we're going to be using these guidelines still, just like it was an RV strategy, but then we're going to be using scalping skills, which I'll show you, you know, different ways, different indicators to look at. But you're always going to see me mark these levels unless I'm doing a swing trade, and then I'll do different levels. But for scalping, the intermediate type trading in the day, you're going to see me mark these levels. Why not? This is where the stock has turned around before. This is where the people have set alarms to go back in. This is a pattern, a pattern of people buying and selling at a certain point. So that's what technical analysis is. We're following patterns. So anybody that thinks that patterns aren't the way, then they need more work. Now, if trading's working for them, then they're doing just fine and they can thumb their nose at everybody that thinks they, they do it a different way. So I don't want to call into question. Everybody has their own way they make money if you're a successful trader. So if it's working for you, what you see, when you see the picture in the picture, when you work it out, then you should not doubt that. You should trust yourself once you see the results. These are for these are ideas for people that aren't in that position. And this is a good way to start to see these. I still use them to this day trading. And and um, you know, yesterday I had an extremely successful day. Not yesterday, um Friday. I had an extremely successful day. So um, anyway, so this is a one minute chart. This is the scalpers indicator, right? So um, you saw how I moved the body. I marked the bodies in the wicks. Oh, I should have gone to the one hour. I also marked them on the one hour. So I was making the channels a little tighter by marking some of these one hour levels here and kind, kind of tightening up the ceiling, the floor, the ceiling and the floor, right? So you want to trade in between these channels and the book explains how to do it. Like if you were to break through this channel when you were trading and it went back down, you know, like it banked off the top and went back down, that's when you would sell out. It's telling you like it couldn't break that ceiling and it broke through that floor, get out. You know, so there's a strategy to actually how to trade these channels. Now, when you're trading channels, you also want to look at other things. You want to look at the volume profile, which I have set in here for intraday, and you'll see me use it today. Um, you also want to see five-minute chart and one-minute chart alignment. You also want to see volume. What's the volume doing on the if it's going down or going up. And this is an amazing indicator that we offer for free here. So you should get the free script, download that script. Uh, and this is this one's actually the Million Dollar Margin Club one. You should go to their channel too, million-dollar-margin-club. Uh, that's their YouTube channel. They just started. They have reviews on the books, some of the books I'll recommend here, as well as they have, they started this whole 60-second short series that is based on the candlestick pattern playbook. And, and reading the patterns is really the next level that you really need to be good at, and it gives you that extra edge. You know, Mark Douglas in Trading in the Zone is one of the books I recommend. I'll have a link to it. Um, the, I mean, the top five books, really. Get, get the day trading series, one, two, and three. That if you're just new, or if you even if you're not new, if you don't have them, then get Mark Douglas trade in the zone. Then get the best losers wins, and then I have some other link books there. But if those are the only things you can get, get those. If you got day trading volume two and three, you will learn your patterns. There's just no way you can't learn them if you read those books and practice those exercises. And then day trading volume one is all about range bound trading. And it actually, if you're a beginner trader, it even tells you about brokerage accounts, how to get offshore accounts, all kinds of things. So those books, trading in the zone helps you get your mind straight. And sometimes I say, trade for a while first, trade in the sim, trade, you know, almost like fail first and then read that book and that gives you the confidence to get in. Everybody fails. You might not fail first, but eventually you're going to fail and then you're going to want to grab that book, you know, uh, to get you back in the game. And then The Best Loser Wins, another one, a different style, a different way to look at the market. Very intuitive, a very good book as well. So those are the five books. There'll be links to all of them, I say, to get them all. So here you saw my day chart. You saw my four hour, my one hour. I also have the SPY down here and the QQQ down here is a five minute. So let me go to the last. We'll be starting to trade in just a minute here. The other thing you want to mark are the Fibonacci levels. So you're going to see me go from left to right here. Oh, it's already, did it already pop off the, I marked these things before the, uh, 
Yeah, there it is. Okay. So left to right always. So that's my, marking the Fibonacci levels, which is a highly respected level. So now we have the ATR respected level, the Fibonacci's here, this very respected levels. And I do it twice. I do it on a five minute for 10 day, and I do it the five minute for two day uh, levels here. Here's where the, this is where it used to be. It's moved, it's moved beyond that this morning. But, um, this is where it was marked. So now you look to see where are these lines within the ATR level. In this case, we're just outside of them already. So uh, um, that four hour was extremely well respected. See how many times it, it hit here? So these are things you want to see. That means, and look, and look at over here. Well, this is actually marked right here, but look where it hit it again, you know? So um, you, you just want to mark these things where the stock turned around before because there's a high likelihood it might do it again. So basically, you're looking for to respect these levels until they don't work for you. So I'm going to be calling the ball what they call quarterbacking to help everybody trade here. But they all take their own trades just so you are all aware of that. And I'm starting in just a moment. So I got to make sure I'm ready to to call the direct. Where are we here? There we are, okay. So I'm getting my, I'm always gonna look for five minute and one minute chart alignment. I'm always gonna look for when the five minute candle closes to see what are they seeing compared to the one minute. Now this is the volume profile set for intraday. This is the lower value of the volume profile, which is a signal that the stock is gonna reverse here or reverse here. As you can see, it already did. A couple of times and there's the point of control which is the magnet we have about a minute and a half guys so um basically this is we're looking for a turnaround here unless it's going to keep dropping so is that bucking a, a current trend yeah but i don't like to trade nvidia short for very i i will okay so it's breaking down here so we're going to look for support here on a fibonacci what do we have left here so we only have a minute to go guys um, so right now it broke through this. If this starts to turn around, we should go long here. So we just, we're all trading with the same amount of share size and we can go in now. So I'm going to go ahead and go long right there. Wow. It jumped way up right when I was, wish I would have got it down here, but we say we don't start till a half hour after market opens. That's one of the strategies for the RV strategy. So the RV strategy is uses stocks uh, in their criterium and there's a, way to pick them out in the day trading volume one, but they have to be a minimum market cap of 25 billion, a minimum float of 1 billion. So that means you're getting a large cap stock that usually moves in very predictable ways. Now, we are trading the video, which is like the Wild West, and we're gonna be careful here a little bit with this. Wow, did that, did that actually go up to, did I miss that? Wow. I'm going to take that. I'm going to reverse right there, guys. That was a pretty big trade for 25 shares. So I took it, and we're going to see if it's going to bounce back for a minute. Now, that's how I trade. So we're just going to see if it bounces back a minute. So it's okay. See, it's already going back down. But I'm looking to reverse long again. I'm just seeing if we can, uh, if we can get it back down to, to this level where it was at down here at the bottom so usually when it turns around you're going to see a little bit of churning so we're at that four hour which is 909 and then right down here i don't have a level here but i would say even dollar well yeah yeah so the even dollar 909 which would give me 25 dollars on that trade or if it seems like it's going to go down 908 so it already it's almost at 909 and then you're going to see me 908 you're going to see me reverse again I might have missed it. That was, I think that was it. Wow. Was that it? I'm just going to take that, guys, I, I, just to get a little. I don't think it's going to keep going down. So I think I, think I might have made five bucks. Ow. Oh, and now it's going down. Okay. Well, I thought it might go down. So this is my open right now. Okay. So I have a $50 max loss per trade since we only have 25 shares. So I don't want to see that go by $50. That means I'm going the wrong way if it does that. Otherwise, I'll hang in the position a little bit longer here. So now I'm long. At 923. Yeah, 
see a couple of you are red up there, and I don't like seeing that. I don't know what went wrong. Hmm. So I'm looking at what the market maker is going to give me. Now, I have the level two up here, guys, but on a large cap with this, you know, I mean, it really has nothing to do with the share size. But on a large cap, um, you're not going to see big enough numbers to really affect this, not stuff that we would see. So it's very important to know how to read that if you're doing momentum. But we have the next best, best thing here, which is a scalper syndicator. And it's basically telling you, um, um, yeah, try to get green up there because that's, that's not what I want to see. Um, the red are all the sellers. The green is all the buyers. Here's the percentage of them in any individual candle. So right now, seriously buyer strong. We are going the right direction. If you are going short, which I see some of you are, you are going the wrong way right now. So... Um, So what did we have here? So we had an inverted hammer here that showed a reversal, okay? Now that is enough to make a downward trend because it's over five on a one minute downward trend. But let's look at the bigger picture. So that was a downward trend kind of, you know, and then it turned around. So um, this is the 15 minute, this is the five minute. So I, I like to keep my perspective when I'm, uh, okay. So this is slowing down right here at this four hour. So be careful at this four hour, guys. That's a 51 dollar. I'm going to take that there. What did I get that at? 9, 9, 9.11.80. So I banked off that one hour roughly. Mostly I banked it so I can manage my bad position if I'm going the wrong way. Um So I'm going to look to play this channel for a second. If it breaks through here, I'm going to reverse right back. And that's what it's doing. So I might have just, but I banked it. So I made a little cushion here. I haven't had orange juice then. Orange juice is fighting back. Oh. Yeah, it just might just break right through here. There's the VWAP right above it. For all of you, those that you that say VWAP, there is no H, there is no O. It is VWAP. <laughs> we just had another argument this morning about that. It's whatever you want it to be. I'm just saying. Some people have some strong opinions about the way you pronounce that. <laughs> wow. So all the way down to that four hour. Is it going to break that? Wow. I'm, I'm very tempted to turn around here, guys. That's a big trade for 25 shares. Yeah, getting ready to go. Whoa, I'm going to take that. What did I get that? 908.45. Okay, everybody's green. They all, You all got that short, which is great. That's great. Now, again, I'm going to manage my bad position if this keeps going. So if you see it break down here, which is 907, that's a whole dollar, uh, roughly a dollar away from my position, 25 bucks. You'll see me look very closely to turn it around. Certainly at the FIB, I would start to um, think about reversing. So it does look like it's hitting down here kind of strong. So I'm a little concerned I'm going the wrong way, but I've got a good position. So... Um, So these are just scalping skills in the channels and the, the support and resistance levels based on previous days' action, based on a mathematical formulas that many, many traders, professional traders, back-tested, came up with where to put these levels and these Fibonacci levels to have a greater chance uh, of them being respected. You know, it's like 30% of the time they're not respected. The rest they are. But you have to, the, the way they think about it is respect them until you don't. That's the way they think about it. Respect them until you don't. Get ready to reverse here. Here's another great trade, guys. So look at this four hour. And maybe it'll go up. So I'm going to slow, I'm going to wait a second to see because right now they're totally winning out. The scalpers indicator is showing us don't get out of this position. Let's see what happens here. 
if you read these, if you read the, the channels, if you read the patterns, you can see, literally see the future. That's what it's all about. Cutting down. Get, wow, getting an edge. Wow, it blew right through. I didn't even have a chance to turn around. So it's banking on that VWAP. Trying to get the probabilities more in your favor. This is a great trade, guys. Let's not lose this. I don't know if it can make it all the way up here. 14. That's the next spot. We've got a big sucking opening here that's just going to suck it right up because there's no level stopping it. Maybe. But see, now it's bouncing off. So that, that, that four hour and one. I like to look at it like it's a shackle put on. I mean, these are thousands and thousands of people making this move, right? Look at this come across. So this would be more likely to pull it back down because it's below. The, this is previous price action that just happened. So that means there's a lot of people wanting it to get either get back in this position if they're shorting or get, um, and now this is coming up. So we're getting a conflicting uh, message here. So something's going to happen here. I'm looking for a reversal, guys, up at that four hour or probably before. It's bouncing on the VWAP now. Ray trade. $4, $5 on this trade almost. Oh, my God. Is it going to hit the four-hour? Hit the four-hour. Is it going to really break? <laughs> Looks like it's going to break through that. That's some strong. That was some strong. Uh, I'm looking at the market maker scene. I'm going to take that. Did I get it at 70? I did. Uh, so what is that? That's right here so i banked 367 dollars we are now i'm now short at 914.72 and i'm going to manage my bad position if it keeps going up i'm going to get ready to turn around so um we'll see what happens here is everybody nope half of you is still long it's not it's it's a crapshoot long or short right here i just i wanted to bank it and then and then i'm going to try, probably get back in to go long i don't know i'm looking at the action here Nine thirteen seventy three there, nine twelve. So nine thirteen to nine fifty, in here would be support for me. If it pulls back, and then obviously if it gets all the way back here, you're going to see me reverse here, at nine eleven, and then hope that it's going to channel trade because we're looking to channel trade here. That's what we're looking to do. So. took my eyes away from it for a minute and the price action got to where I was looking. What is that? 912. So it's right at the VWAP. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably reverse here at this VWAP. I'm gonna reverse right there. I got it at 91396. Wow. It looks like it's gonna keep going down. So I'm gonna reverse again to write it back down. I break four hundred. I reversed it off that four hour. What did I get at 47? So very close to it. Ugh, just kept going. All right. I lost some confidence right here when I was watching this, but this is a hanging man, which means a turnaround. So three patterns up. It didn't make three white soldiers because of the wick action here, but this is a hanging man on a four hour. That's a sign of a reversal. So I don't know how big of a reversal, but that's a reversal to go down. We've got it short. We're hoping we're going to bounce down here. Getting ready to turn around if it jumps down real quick. Here, here comes the... Wow, I'm going to get that. That's just moving around too fast. I want to turn around. I, I wish I would have got this a little lower. I don't think it was quite done yet, but I saw some of the volume profile price action coming in here. People see that. See, this is the only reason patterns work is because other people look at the same patterns. So there, it's a self-fulfilling thing. We all look at the same patterns, and then we, you know, 
and then we make them come true, and that's the reality. So you have to. We hope that more and more people are reading the three, three to four candlestick patterns on the intraday one minute chart. The more and more people that read those, the more and more it's going to go the way we want it to go. You know, so you're looking for the big players to move at a hundred dollars a day, and the little players to move at two or three, five, ten bucks a day, and you're kind of balancing between the two and trying to catch these scalps in between. Good. Okay. You guys are, everybody's pretty green here, which is great. Wow. I'm going to take it at that one hour. That was a lot of money we got there. So again, it has turned around here. This seems to be the top of its, well, no, it was up here to this fib earlier. So let me take a better perspective here. I just haven't seen it cross that line in a while. So so I'm going to hit that for a possible dip back into here. Look at this. So this could pull the point of control up right here, which would pop this long, which means I'm going the wrong way. So I'm going to look to uh, um, reverse back long again in just a second here. but it's not popping it. There it goes. It popped it up. So that should spring it. It's interesting. This price action moved below it, though. This moved it down here. That should theoretically spring it up. Let's see if it bounces off the VWAP. There it is above it again. You see the price action come up here. Now, this has already happened, of course, but that's all we have. We have what's already happened. I'm just surprised that the price action isn't going back up with this. It's kind of staying right here. Oh, it dropped back down. Okay. So now it's pulling it down. That's the way I look at it. It's literally pulling it down. It was right here, and it popped down. So now it's all the way down to 912, 912 and 913. So this is where the price, most of the price action has averaged out, right here. So it's most likely you're looking to see it repeat. Oh, now it popped up again. Wow, we're getting some weird readings here. So sellers indicators, yeah. So it looks like it's switching to buyers here. So kind of going the wrong way here. Except that it won't put me in a bad position. I'm trying to. I'm managing my position, and I'm not seeing it get into a bad position. So it's just, uh, it's still a good position that I'm in. So until it starts to drop here, really drop, I'm probably not going to reverse. Yeah, okay. So we're getting we're getting ready to go the other way here, it looks like. I'm right at the top of the point of control. Volume seems to be dipping a bit here, although still very strong. Ah, is that it? Okay, I'm gonna reverse right there. Okay, I'm gonna reverse back. Did I actually lose money? I think I lost money on that trade. I broke five hundred for a second there. Oh, I reversed back too quickly. Let me get this. This is not where I need it to be here. Wow. Okay. So I misjudged that one. Hitting back here. So let's see if it reverses, if it um, banks off that. Oh, wow. That was a fast reversal. Holy crap. I was just about ready to reverse. Oh, my God. There it goes down now. So that is a fast move down. It's 11. Uh, what did I get that at? 69. So what is that at? It's 70. So it's just just below that four hour. I got it there. So that's pretty good to go long. So I reversed on the four hour. So uh, that was a very, very fast drop right there. It seems like to recover from that quickly will take a little while, I'm thinking. So I'm going to think about reversing off this one hour or off the... Uh, yeah, I'll have to look at that. Holy mackerel. I'm going to reverse off of that again. I got 587. Okay, so let's see if it pulls up to the point of control. It starts churning. I can reverse again right there. It's a little hard to it's a little hard to trade, guys. It, it's not moving as, as easy as the other day when we were doing this. So um
how much did we make? I think we made like a thousand bucks the other day when we did 25 shares, right? So we have a, maybe we made more than that. I can't remember. This seems definitely harder though. So you see this action coming across here. We're right in the middle of this volume profile action, which is right where we want it to be. I'm getting ready to re I'm going to reverse it that. So we got it right at the four hour again. Is it going to break it? It doesn't look like it because this is pulling it up. Got it 9.11.69 long. 9.11.69 long. I'm just going to take some short scalps here, guys. So it's going to be hard to, uh, to catch them with me. But I am going to plan to go up and down on this little channel here. I'm looking at my price a lot, too, to see how much money can I make. Because there's not much slippage for these short ones. The short ones are working pretty well if you can call them. I'll take that. So I've got it at 912.47 short. 912.47 short. Take that long again. See if I can get out on a bounce up. Uh, ah, I should have held that longer. Okay. I was just trying to do two tiny of <laughs> scalps there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to need to slow down. I'm over trading right now. But I'm, I'm hoping that this is not this is not it. You know, I'm hoping that there's going to be a big move up or down here. You know, I'm going the wrong way. Darn it. All those little scalps all gone in one trade here if I if I have to get out here. So I've got 9, 12, 29. All right. Everybody's definitely got at least a few hundred bucks, which is good. Yeah, 9, 9 12, 29 short. Not the best. Oops. Hey, I was green. Okay. I was looking up at you guys. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to play right here. So, um, going long. Got back some of that. Oh, 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 that dropped. Okay. Whoa, okay. It came out of that channel. So, I, you saw what I did, right? As soon as it broke there, I reversed my position. So, that's called managing your, your bad position. So, I needed to go short because it stopped doing this. So, now we got to watch it close to see what, what can it bank off of. Where is it going to turn around again? So right here at the 910 possibly. So here's what the market maker is going to give me. Um, so it was kind of like a flat top breakdown or a flat bottom breakdown, however you want to call it. It was, it was hitting here and then all of a sudden broke its pattern. So, you know, look, look at the scalpers indicator and see. It seems like it wants to go back up. So maybe it isn't a big move or anything. So I have a cushion here to hold this a little bit longer. To, with 25 shares, we have, to, we have to play this. We can't just try to play a trend, and it's not really trending too good for us. Look at the five-minute. I mean, it's not really anything here. I mean, this is a spinning top showing you this is going down, and it did go down, and that might be the end of the move, or and that's a pretty strong indicator that this could continue to go down. So make sure you learn, learn your pattern in the, in the trading series, volume one, uh, volume, uh, day trading volume two and three. Um, if you finish those books, you'll... You'll know your patterns. They even have a, in the first one, you can cut out and make your own flashcards and stuff. It's kind of cool. They're workbooks. The thing about the day trading series, they're workbooks. They're not just knowledge that talks to you about emotions. And I mean, look, that stuff is, whoa, that stuff is useful. So we're looking here to turn around right here at the bottom of the volume profile. So we're looking to, wow, I'm going to, what did I get that? 907.57. 907.57, not the best, but it went a little lower there. I missed it. You can never get the, the greatest unless it keeps going, and then I'm going to really – so it hit that four-hour too. So get ready. I'm going to – this is my – the fib is probably where I would say I'm going the wrong way if it breaks that fib. Wow. I'm going to turn around there and try to grab that off the top of the four-hour.
Okay. I thought it was going to drop off to four hour. Is it not going to do that? I'm looking for anything green now uh, to, so I can turn around and manage my my bad position because it looks like it's going to stay above there. So I'm in a bad position. So I'm looking for something green to go long. Can I get anything green? 908.75. I might have to take a lesser loss here. It looks like it's going to go. Oh, I'm going to take a lesser loss. I'm going to take that little tiny bit of green I'm going to take <laughs> and think that it's going to keep going up. So let's see. So I got it at 908.76. Wow. You guys are having, some of you are having a really hard time there. Um, yeah, because we're almost, we're not going to make a thousand bucks today. That would be pretty, pretty hard to do that right now. So I am long, definitely not in the right area to be going long. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I, I took a bad trade there. So I thought it was going to break above and instead, okay, look at that fib to turn it around. That was at 906. Turned right around at that fib, man. Right there. I didn't catch it. It's going to break it. Looks like it's going to break the fib. 905. There it goes. Look at that four hour now. What's that four hour? Okay, that's it, right? 905. So the even dollars, you want to look for the even dollars too. What did I get that at? 904.50? What was that four hour at? 905. This so I hit it. I got it way down in the middle between these two. Whoa, it's already it's already got a good trade. Look at that. <laughs> you know. At least it's moving. You know, we're not just doing this, so we have a chance to capture these. I'm feeling pretty good about my position long here, unless it's just going to keep fading down. So again, we had a spinning top here, which is telling you a reversal. The five minute is really, yeah, no, it didn't make any kind of a flag. It looked like it might have been a, yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of a, that's kind of a bear flag there, guys. It's, that's the pole just wasn't long enough, which would signal, well, it's kind of already done its move, you know, now and then it hit the fib this four hour it's turning around now okay I'm looking to reverse here it seems to be losing its way damn I wish I would have caught it up there near the $40 range Getting ready. The next time it bounces up and looks like it's going to bounce down, I'm going to grab a quick short. There's almost 50 bucks there, 66. I'll take a quick reversal there and hope that I'm going to get a chance to reverse it back. 25. No, I'm going to just take it right there. I'm sorry. I, it looks like it's going up still. So this spinning top should reverse it. So, you know, you're looking over here, and I didn't want to buck the trend, so I managed to, to get like 10 or 15 bucks there, which with 25 shares isn't bad. <laughs> you know, remember, we've only got 25 shares, so it's hard to make, uh, you know, thousands of dollars in this low share size. But everybody's doing, so anybody that's not, uh, somebody's skirting right below 500. Everybody else is over 500, so that's good. 500 a day, 2,500 a week, right? So some of you are right. I should call out that there are some that are over 800, a couple of people. So they're right with me. Um, and I feel like I've been making mistakes left and right. So everybody must be feeling that way. It's hard to, to call these. As soon as I start talking to you guys, I kind of forget, you know, what I'm doing here watching these. Because you got to really tune into this stuff here to get this all right. So the buyers are still strong. So I'm looking up here. Is it going to make 909? It's stepping up, but it's slowing down. Slowing down here. 
just broke 900. I mean, there's a slim chance we might. I've only got about five minutes left to trade, guys. So, um, I'm going to be looking to reverse here if it gets high enough by that four hour just to bank some money, then manage if it's a bad trade. Looking for 908.50 maybe, 909. Wow, I'll take that. What was it? Ugh, I have 42. All right. So that got me over 900. Now I just have to be really careful here because if it shoots through that four hour, I'm looking at the money a lot to bank it and then manage my bad position. Doesn't mean I'm not watching all the indicators. I'm just, I, I'm tying this in too because we kind of, I kind of had a challenge to try to make a thousand earlier um which is a tall order with 25 shares but it, it can it's it's happened for sure um and and with a stock like nvidia you need a stock like nvidia because you don't have a 30 to 40 dollar atr you have no chance to make this kind of money in 30 minutes with the uh, with the uh, 25 shares yeah try trading like you know gm and you'll have like you know 10 bucks <laughs> I'm going to take that and hope that I get another chance to reverse short. I believe the action. I'm going to take that. I believe the action short. 908.15. Yep, going the wrong way again. Okay. Ah. Is it really going to break out that four hour and go? I'll just take my losses and, keep, and then I'll go long. You know, I see I see some indecision here. All the way up, it's been indecision. And then this is a big, tall hanging man that is telling you it's going to turn around. And it right at that four hour with the hanging man. So let's see, you know, the seller's indicator, the um, scalping indicator is going up. So it's telling you it's going to go down. Still, my position's way down here someplace. So 908.15, like right here. So I'm just getting to my position. So it went way beyond because I was playing it in here, looking for that to turn it around, and it didn't. This should turn it around, though. Can it break that four hour? It's breaking that four hour. Okay. All right, guys. I'm I'm really this is I'm at time, so I'm gonna be calling it here soon. That doesn't mean you can't keep trading without me. Looking for one last big trade to maybe push us over a thousand. I don't want that to be, you know, make a dumb move trying to get the thousand though. So wow. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> uh oh, is that it? Oh man, did that jump up fast? Gonna break that fib. I have to tell you, I am looking at this. <laughs> Just, I mean, nine hundred, a thousand. What's the difference really at this point? So, I don't think I'm gonna go below nine hundred. You know, so I'm I'm willing to to ride this a little bit. To see if I can do that thousand. Now, if these were if this was a thousand shares, I'd be looking upon it a little bit differently. Um, I'd like to see it break this fib. That would really give me some confidence to hold this position. It's breaking it. It's breaking it. Oh, broke it. Went to nine oh five. You guys are in this still, right? We're all short. Okay. We're, oh, there's somebody long. Yeah. Um, well, that might work for you. Be careful. Sellers are seriously strong. If it continues to break below this, now it's the action's below the FIB. So the FIB is is a ceiling. Whoa, whoa, look at it go, guys. All right, so let's not lose this. This is a great trade. I broke 1,000. All right, so I just got to buy out. Um, okay, I'm going to ride it a little longer because it's just too strong. I'm not going to get out just because I broke 1,000. So let's see if we can break this one hour. And then you have another FIB down here. But look at the scalpers indicator telling us to stay in this move. Look at this. You do not want to get out when stuff looks like that. This is going our direction, 903. So look for 903 for a support. Yeah, we left all the price action long behind here. So we have an anomaly. <laughs> We're writing the anomaly down. So all we've got really is our levels and the uh, scalping indicator. And you're not going to see me let this drop below 1,000 now. 
I said 900. Now I'm saying, guys, I'm getting ready to get out. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, I'm going to take that started to turn around. I'm just going to take it there. Wow. That's good. It looks like it's about to go back up, guys. Be careful. Yeah, I was over um, 1,100 for a minute there. And I took it. So anyway, that is the RV strategy being used with, um, you know, a range-bound strategy being used with NVIDIA on small share size. Now, this is what most people can trade, you know, and I know a lot of people that I know, that, you know, my, my regular friends and stuff, they don't like to trade the higher share size. They're fine making 500 a day, 1,000 a day, you know, 2,000 a day, whatever. They don't need to make 5,000 and 10,000 when you see me do the heavy hitting. You know, they don't, they don't need to do that or they don't have the um, constitution to do that, you know. So, and that's, you've got to know you, how you feel about things. I mean, this is why I want to show these demonstration videos. You can see, like, watch something else with no fear. Like, if there was no fear and, uh, like, you knew the future just by knowing how to read this, you, you would have the confidence to trade any share size. And that's why uh, Trading in the Zone is such a great book to read. So, But you need to trade in a sim first. You need to make sure whatever strategy you're following works for you. Um, you know, don't, don't just grab this and say, oh, this works. He can do it. You know, no, 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 no. It has to work for you. And you need to trade in a sim and uh, read the books. And, um, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff on the channel, videos about to see which way the market's going to go in the morning. I'm going to be making a new one of those soon as well with some of the new techniques we use. Um, a bunch of them about how to trade the open strategy. There's going to be a whole bunch of, oh, my God, it should have stayed in, huh? Here it keeps going um, about how to trade the open strategy to all, a whole bunch of different ways. Um, so there's a lot of trading archives you might want to look up, guys, that are um, very helpful. Well, how to set up your scanners so you don't have to pay for a service to find the stocks. In the, in the uh, Trading Journal logbook, that is a link for it too, which is one of the ones that I helped get out with the publisher because I wanted people to log. It's so important to log your trades and to remember your thought process and your journey so you can look back and understand why you did things, why you didn't do well and why you did do well. And then <clears throat> at some point it's just going to click, you know, like, oh, I see it. I see it. Um, but mostly if you read the trading in the zone, it talks about how you're just, I think I started to say it, interrupt myself, how you're, when you create an edge, you're just changing your probability of being more successful by creating these edges, by putting in these support and resistance lines, by reading the scalping indicator, by reading the level two, by aligning your charts, by checking the volume to make sure it's increasing when the candlesticks moving the way or the price actions is moving the way that you want to go. So it's you know validating that you have a whole thousands of people agreeing with you. And then it just comes down to, well, obviously you need a trading plan, but basically it comes down to being prepared to get out. Like if you read Best Loser Wins, he doesn't even believe in having a price at an exit strategy. He believes in reading the indicators to say when it gets out. Why would you arbitrarily say two to one? Oh, I only want to make double. Why wouldn't you want to make five times as much? You know why? So he looks at it that way. That's why that's a that's a good book to read too because it's a different perspective. But you should whatever you decide on reading and watching all the different videos on YouTube that other people have too, and you know, and gathering all your and then just trust only yourself, not me, not anybody else. Trust only yourself because the more data you get, the then you can really trust in the sim like because this style might not work for you. You know, uh, they, the Million Dollar Margin Club and some of the other professional traders, when they were helping make a type of trading style, this seemed to be one that more people had more things to look at to give them confidence to make, you know, money with small share size. Like, just go in with one share. First do a sim, you know, and, and try to trade with realistic share size. Then when you go live, just go with, if it's working in the sim, you know, the next step, go live. It's going to be a whole new level of, you know, oh, shit, <laughs> I'm scared. You know, so you go low share size. Really what it has to be is you have to be prepared. Like when you walk into a casino, my attitude would be early on before I 
went into a casino professionally, um, I would be like, I'm going in here to lose this much money, and I'm okay with losing this much money. I don't plan on winning. I plan on losing because I'm going to do luck before I knew skill, and I know my luck might fail. So you're going into an attitude where it's almost like you're, you're learning your skills, but you look at it like, I'm going to fail, and I'm okay with that. I can lose $10 today. I can lose $25 today, what it might be. And then I would like to make 25 or 50 or $100 a day, but I'm okay if I lose 25 And you have to have that cutoff, like this much per trade, this much per day, and you're okay. You can walk away whistling like, well, tomorrow's another day. I traded 20 days, and I lost only eight of those days, say. You know, and then the 12 days I made, and I made more money than I lost because I always cut off in an exact spot, and my winners I let run. You know, so easier said than done, I know. But it comes down to a feeling inside that you're okay. When you, when you enter a trade and the share size is too high and you're feeling afraid as it's trying, as it's doing, you, you can't wait to see what it does. You can, you know, I can't wait. I, can't, I gotta get out. I can't wait. Well, that's, that's terrible because you won't be able to follow the analysis that, you're tr- that you should trust. You can't follow yourself if you, you're not gonna, you need to trust yourself, you know, and you need to, to tr- you do have to have some level of skill and practice. And then once you feel you, you do know, you have to let them run. And the only way you can let them run without fear is to have a low enough share size where it doesn't bother you if it's a mistake. And then get out when you hit your max. That's about all I can say. I hope that made some sense, guys. Um, listen, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay green out there. Be careful.